Yorubas and the Bene Kingdom, the Oyo Kingdom and the Bene Kingdom, eh, they had a very, very cordial relationship. I mean, they, they, they both knew where they are, the stretch of their kingdoms. To the point that they were actually, apart from the historical one that, you know, Odudu was a grandson who was sent to Bene and all of that, all of that right? Apart from that, they said yeah. in the recent times, as recent as, uh, let's say, uh, 17th, 18th century, right? These two kingdoms yeah. existed and they were trading. They were even like exchanging, uh, what do you call this, uh, this, this thing called a student's exchange that they do today. You bring the Germans to Nigeria and you send the Nigerian student to Germany. Benin yeah. and uh, what you got the Benin and your kingdom at the time, they were so close enough. There was never any animosity. And I believe it's because of the proximity, the closeness to one another. I would say. Could that also be the same thing that we might have had with the Nukwe and Hausa before the Fulani um, invasion? Because I don't know of any was historical well. there war. There was no record of Hausa uh, and Yorubas having any war history. There was never a time that the, uh, the Nupes had a problem with the Yorubas until the Fulani came, indeed. And then it was yeah. like until they were stopped at. Uh, where they now call, uh, what's that place called in Niger State uh, today? They were not even going to go to Bomosho at all. They were in Niger. There's a place, uh, the border between Niger Bida. and uh, uh, Ilori. Is it Bida? Oh, Jeba. Okay. Jeba. So it was around yeah. that uh, area, Bida, Jeba. And as you are coming down south, that was where the entire war stopped. And it was it was all the Fulanis, you know, instigating the invasion of communities and all that that triggered that war. And it wasn't a direct war between Yorubas and Nupe. No, it was a Fulani war. Okay. Just like after they passed through uh, a lorry and they wanted to kind of move down. So we had to push back. Well, yeah. historically. Last question. What's your take on your thoughts on Nnamdi Azikwe, especially? The fact that I grew up amongst other people, he lived in the north, he lived amongst Yorubas in the southwest. And that statement he made, the God of Africa created the Igbo nation to lead the children of Africa. You, uh, you remember you this said is, that yeah, yesterday. So why my, did he allow himself? I know, this is my view about uh, Unam Diazikwe. Number one, right? He happened to be uh, at the end of it all, Obaba. Azikwe happened yeah. to be uh the who i can describe as uh, a cash and carry selfish man and how you see he started off as somebody who came from a very tough background uh trying to like uh, you know uh, uh make it uh, all through he got to a point he blackmailed his father right until his father had to give him all his money to send him to America. So when he came back with the idea of, you know, one nation and all of that stuff, and like you said, being raised from here and there all over Nigeria, is a textbook definition of somebody that could have, uh, you know, led that, uh, what do you call that new country. You know, but there is something. He had a very troubled sort of uh, adult life, he was always wanting money and he had, he lacked so much of it. So that gave room to those who they said accosted him on his way back from America in the UK. Now, this is not even me trying to excuse him away. I just want to say what he later turned out to be and what they made him turn out, I mean, what they make him turn out to be, or maybe that's actually who he was meant to be, Azikiwe, was that the moment he left that UK, and he arrived in Nigeria. His assignment was clear. Do all you can, okay, to divide the South. How would you do it? First, he started the rhetoric of making one tribe feel superior to the other. This was so alien. This was so, it was, it has never happened in the entire Western region or the entire Southern part, even when they got fused together until Aziki yeah. returned in 1935. And that was when, and you know, of course, he started kind of like, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a court. I mean, no, it's like, it's like somebody who has a, a great impression on people, young people most especially of that time, right? 
educated, yeah. just back from the America, an Africanist, or is a leader, and kind of. So he was able to attract a lot of them and started making them feel superior to the other, specifically the Yorubas. And remember, the Yorubas were far, 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 far ahead educationally, but they had to make it look like it was the fault of the Yorubas, right? That the Igbos were behind, not the British who plotted it that way. So I, I, Azikiwe decided to appeal to what, I don't know, and it worked for him. You know how? He was able to convince some Igbos of that era that they were actually better than others. At first, they felt like the Yorubas who felt like they were better than the Igbos, actually they were not better, we are equal. Then they kept pushing it and pushing it. And my own estimate of that is that if there is anyone, if I, there is any review I have to give about uh, Azikiwe, having known all of this, to what later happened and what Nigeria ended up as, I would say he is as evil, even more evil than Amadou Bello and what he did. That would be my view based on the available facts because he ended up actually losing out in a scheme that he was the most brilliant, sort of, the most prepared and the most equipped to lead such a nation and give that impression of, okay, one Nigeria, right? But all of that, from also what I read, even in Nibu land, they said, despite Azikiwe's push of this tribalism and all of that, it wasn't even so deep in the East, right? It simply means that uh, hmm. there were actually those in the East that felt like, man, this is strange. Well, of course, it's the genesis of tribalism in the Western part of Nigeria, I mean, the Southern Nigeria. Let's give that to him, Azikiwe. My view, Festus. Thank you very much. Bless you. Have a good day. Bye. And you too. We'll continue our reading uh, next. Uh, that will be tomorrow. See, like I said, our our supposed uh, ancestors, they were not saints. Majority of them were not really heroes. In fact, uh, the the book and the reason why I don't really want to to uh, you know, like I said, don't inherit. Uh, uh, their enemies and the rest of them don't hear it then because it is very simple if you if you have been following this reading the aziki way says selfishness greed and self-centeredness could only sort of uh, have credence by attaching igbos to it from record the igbos never benefited from Aziki Wese political escapades and miscalculations due to his selfishness and greed. I don't know, somebody said, they said that he was in debt or he, he embezzled money of his newspaper. And because he embezzled money, he was to go to jail. I don't know how true that is, but we'll find out later. Sorry, my color. I don't know how true that is, but the British got him. The British wanted a divided South. They needed somebody to do the job. And what that person had to do was to turn one tribe against the other. Okay? He started making the, I started, the Igbos that have been living in Lagos, including Azikiwe himself, who was uh, raised in Lagos, born in Zungeru, raised in Lagos. Onicha, back to Lagos, Onicha, and all that. Azikiwe knows that there were, there were Thousands of Igbos who were also born and raised in Lagos around that time. Schooling in Lagos as well. So he started making them see everything that the Yorubas or the Yoruba political class or anything they are involved done to them as being done to them because they were Igbos. The Yorubas ate us. Awulo what doesn't like us. Meanwhile, the Igbos were schooling in Yoruba in Southwest. They were being, uh, you know, they were being schooled in uh, in different parts of the Southwest, so to say, like massively. It got to a point whereby the enrollment in the Southwest, the enrollment in Western region to schools between the Igbos and the Yorubas was like 15 and it's a ratio 15 to 18. Igbos 15, Yorubas 18. But you could only use that, oh, they hate us, oh. don't trust them, oh. they hate us. Oh. The British have told me that they hate us. If you know the plan of Awolowo, Awolowo is planning to do this, this to you, to the Igbo. So 
he is planning to do that, 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 that to the ego. So, and the guy is uh, is a newspaper journalist. He has a newspaper, just like uh, the media, social media we have today. So he could put anything up and publish it. And he was doing all of that under the very careful guidance of the British. You heard, you heard all of that. You heard that here now. Let's, uh, let's hear this. Hello there. Yeah, Mayogu, this is Iruk. How are you doing? Good morning. I am very well, so, Mayogu. Iruk, how are you today? Yeah. Too? Good. Yeah, good morning to the uh, viewers. You know, I wish everyone a happy weekend. See you know, too. um, based on the history you have been reading, though I have been off and on, you know, <clears throat> uh, from from everything you have read, I'm with you. Uh, the, the the first point we have to point out is that um, some of our problem is caused by the British because they uh, they did what they call divide and rule now, no. divide and conquer, divide you know. Conquer. <laughs> so, and you know that time in Africa. People's mind we are still developing mm. because if it is now, it's not going to be easy now because now a lot of people there are so much information you know now if people tell you something you can quickly go and research for yourself before you even believe them you know uh, people are not blind now no. unlike then you know so sometimes uh, uh, if you look at it uh, part of our problem is from our side then part of our problem is from the British. But since those people who have gone and see how those people develop their place. So why me, my question is that why don't you start thinking like them and start doing your place like that and start developing your people? You know. But one, do you know why I like Europe? Because even when I was growing up, I wanted to go to my school in Europe land. But just that I couldn't see, I mean, like I had people in Europe land, but just that that time. As a baby now, when you talk, they will say, Shut up, why don't you stay in the east? You know, so that you can understand why are you going to other places to, to school. But I like Yoruba because uh I wanna really try for them compared to Zeke. Zeke, we don't me, I don't like Zeke. Yeah, because I mean, we didn't go with him. Yes, you see, when, yeah, even, because, you see, when, when, when the Zeke movement got banned in 1951, and he came out uh, and he started lambasting some of them arrested. A lot of them actually call him a betrayer. And to that point, a lot of people believe that he's actually not a real ego. I have historical power where people feel like it's not yes. illegal. Yes. It's yes. Even, even the yeah, even the Biafra war, mm -hmm. as if he was sabotage Igbo. He sabotage Igbo uh -huh. during, during, during the Biafra war. Even even this blockade they cost. I wouldn't even say it's, it's, it was a war. Is that as if he was not, not even a war? We'll because get to that part. I, I will not go. jump it yet. Okay, okay, okay. So you know okay, what they are saying okay. about that yeah. one? Just just uh, like an insight, right? By the time mm. they decided that uh, they were going to, our law uh, ordinarily was no longer inside the Gowon's government when he decided to go to that war, right? Mm. But when they now decided, mm -hmm. yeah, when they decided that uh, they want to, uh, what do you call it? They want to uh, do a food blockade. They said, our law suggested it. It was actually one of uh, the numerous propaganda that has come to stay. I'm going to get to that part. Mm -hmm. Yeah? yeah. And so, the other part as well so, is also so, where they said that uh, 20 pounds was given to uh, every Biafran that returned. That is not only the story. The 20 pound uh, story is for those who can no longer show proof of how much they had in the uh, bank. People who uh, had their uh, houses, uh, had their houses returned to them. In few places uh, where some people actually took their houses where they said they abandoned properties. Back in the southwest yeah. of Nigeria, there is no single Biafran property that was never returned. Yeah, That's abandoned. Yeah, you're, you're right. You get what I mean? You're right. Those you're right. Who, those you're who right. actually had show proof that this is my bank mm. statement before the war, mm. they got every mm. penny of their money back. Mm. But again, we will get to that part, okay? There are so many parts of our history that indeed a lot of people have been manipulated to drive an agenda that a lot of us are dealing with today. Sorry about that. Well, see, yeah. So me, like, what I'm trying to say is that, uh, for the first one, me, I'm being exposed. I wish every, you know, like the exposed we are now. I wish, you know, we will uh, they will give other, other, all, yeah, mm -hmm. all, yeah, other, other people at home will will just see little light, you know, their mindset will start changing. Me, as as it, as it, as it stands now, I like Yoruba people. 
you know, no matter you what people will say. Yoruba. Yoruba have no, 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 no. Uh, no. Nobody has anything. Yeah. Uh, it's all these political uh, criminals exactly. who are more than exactly. lives together. So, you know, go yeah, on, even as even even as I'm talking to you, my cousins marry Yorubans. My cousins, they come home. Even I have some Yoruba, Yoruba from as soon as I I get to Lagos, they will come with me. We'll go to my village and enjoy you and know. come back. <laughs> So I don't have any hatred, but you know, like as you said, this history of a thing that they, they deny our people. That is why, you know, people are behaving the way they are behaving. If it is Nam they can they say mad people everywhere, you know, because you know, this, this history make a lot of people they don't behave right. Even the ones that go to school, when you see them talking, you will say, ah, this one did they even go to school at all? So yeah, so what I'm trying to say is that I mean people should if you listen to this thing you are reading, then let them do their own research and let them and learn from you it. know uh, learn from it. Let's, let's so that be, those, let's be those of history, not not yes. Of history, so so you know? yeah, exactly. So if you if you are dealing with people, you deal with people individually. You don't deal with people exactly. Yeah, I mean, I deal with people individually. I don't deal with you because you are Yoruba or you are outside. You are. I mean, you are. If you are good with me, I'm fine with you. Even my even my. My best friend, like, as in the person, if I come to Lagos, the person that helped me is not a Yoruba guy. I will give him money. He will count the money. I will give him so much money. He won't even take any tenkobo from that money. Eh? And then After then, I will, I will, I will travel. His business partners are Igbos. And there's nothing you can say to him that will okay. change his mind. People have these experiences. Exactly. But other people want yes. to ignore those experiences. No, 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 no. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Look at the Igbos. I cannot. No, 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 Way, 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 no, 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 way, no, no, way no, back. No. And a lot of us are carrying no, it see, on today. We are carrying no, it on. See, they, see my, like as I say, you deal with people based on individually, you know, because people, you don't count, because there's some Yorubans when you see, you know, what they will even do, you, you wouldn't even believe that this, this man is a Yoruba man, you know, as they talk. But I don't look at that one. But what I'm trying to say, people need to begin to do research. People need to listen. People need to go visit the history. You know, forget what all the, all, all people are trying to say. Because majority of so them that's are my, there to yeah, that, shape your mind. Yeah. And now, majority yes, of yeah, the history so that my, they told us, they were there to just uh, shape our mind for a purpose. So that yes. when we grow up enough, that purpose, go, 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 we'll serve it. And that purpose is to make sure, yeah. say, we hate our, each other. I hate you. I don't yes. know. I don't yes. have anything to do. I mean, I didn't do anything to you. You don't do anything to me. But because I yes, ah, Eric, that must be evil. He's evil. Eh, hey, yeah, 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 organ, 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 chuku. Ah, that one no be igbo, organ no be igbo. Nah, because I'm trained to hate them, and you have been trained as well to see me as somebody who hates you. Then the cycle continues. Why the criminals are united yeah. up there doing all yeah. this? See, my, uh, yeah, my, yeah, my. What I'm even trying to say, like, mm -hmm. you see, I was even asking one of my Yoruba. There's an elderly Yoruba man. But he retired, he's, he, he's back to Ibadan. You know, I was even telling him that I want to come to Yoruba land to get some land so that I can be no, doing no, no, no. This, this farming something. Mm. Yeah. So the man, we have been talking this thing, but it's just because of this insecurity. It was Ibadapa, the man was even suggesting we should go so that we can get this thing and start something. But we wish, you know, if things will get better. I mean, I mean, that's my own this thing. So for what I'm saying, I yeah, agree. everybody should everybody should should learn from history. And don't don't learn, learn from what they are told us. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. If you have an yeah. experience with a Yoruba man mm. who messed up, deal with him. Mm. Yes, exactly. You have exactly. Deal with, with him. Deal with him. Man who did wrong, wrong man. Deal with him. Deal with him. Don't yes. go back to yes. that successful of a fake history. history. Orchestrated yes. by the British. That that's how the Igbos they do. That is how the Yorubas <laughs> they do now. I have been told before, I saw so the Yorubas, they do. Baba, how many Yorubas have you met? Met, exactly. And how many exactly. Yorubas have you exactly. met, my brother? You met. You get what I mean? So, if we yes. begin to kind of imbibe this, manipulating mm -hmm. us, using us for this, mm -hmm. their tribal uh, ethnic Olympics, we begin yes. to reduce. And once yes. they reduce or stop, Baba, they've lost that power over you. They have lost yes. it over you. Nobody can yeah, come exactly. and say, yeah. hey, have you rise up? Oh, these people hate Igbo. Mm. Igbo, the Igbo, mm. Zundi Igbo. We need to fight. Oh, mm. this Yoruba mm. people who hate you, man. Will you stop shouting? Nobody, nobody. So we need to stop nobody, and nobody. make sure that doesn't work on us anymore by reading exactly, the history exactly. as exactly, exactly. 
Hi, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, thank you. God yeah, you. I just want to thank everyone. Yeah, please uh, sub, uh, share, share and likes and subscribe if you if you haven't done that. You, you know. Yeah, everyone should have a a, a, a wonderful weekend. And you Thanks. Too, okay? Bye bye. You take it easy, man. So I've got another call. Um, hello there. Hello, MG. Hello. Long time. It's been a while. Yo, I can't fear you, not be lying. How you I can't defend you. I've been calling for ages for MG. You know? Both night, night and afternoon. You know something, eh? You know something? Even yeah. people say, if I pick up a phone, right, right now, to call him, I may never get a chance to call him. Like, now my program will. I go there now, yeah. right? They die. Say, okay, I won't pick, I won't pick. I may never have that chance. It's so tough. I'm glad you made it. It's easier this morning and afternoon. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's much like pressureless. Yeah, yeah, it's true, though. It's true. And the, nah, uh, but MG, MG, now nah, this thing where they do, yeah. Tell me. I, I don't know how God will take blessing for this. Yeah, you know, I don't know how God will take blessing. Matters, so because all you. Your, uh, I just want to ask you if. Me, if you be uh, if you permit me to speak broken, I you know, I know saying that I can speak free, I yeah, so, to understand ourselves, Baba. So, so now the thing, go on, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this thing where this uh, topic where you carry come now, yeah, no only God knows, mm -hmm. I know, and only God just thought to bring this exactly this history where Nigerian government they run for mm -hmm. all these our politicians, they just they run for this. History. Did this book there there already? Oh. But they you know say but, yeah, it did. But they don't want anybody because they say if you want to hide anything for a black man, go hide them for inside book. Maybe because they know they they know they give uh, not anymore now. Right. They don't know now. You know, you know but people don't this our people don't send me message. Yeah? People don't send me message. Why you go? Why yeah, you that one? I have another one. Is uh, from uh, this. I was like, send them, um, review them, um, and we'll go read them. Um. As long as it's going to help. Awaken our subconsciousness, no matter how old you are. You it's matter, helping. It's we need it. It's helping. It's helping. And it's good you made it, make it in open. You know why? Because of this thing, according to what we have been reading, this history now. Mm -hmm. I'm from Southeast. Mm -hmm. And you get something. I remember during the days of our time uh, when I was in school. That, that was secondary school even. Right. You know? Right. Um, I mean, early 80s. Mm -hmm. So this... Um, uh, this is ten. Like Igbos, Igbos value Ojuku more than Zik. No matter what history Zik got in Nigeria. That, oh, people they talk. They, people know hmm? rate Zik. Now Nigeria. They some, rate people, sick. Think, some people. Some people think slap you. And now some Igbo people. Many Igbo people go slap you if you call Zik name for them. Sure you get. I they tell you don't be joke. Now they, only Nigeria they, 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 they celebrate Zik. If you go Igbo, like, now Nigeria they Ibu. celebrate them now because yeah. of they use them they do what they are doing all these division. Now Nigeria they celebrate them. Igbo is not the celebrate. Sat is not the celebrate Zik like that. They celebrate Ojukumo, and that's the fact. You know that's the fact. That. A lot of people. I always they ask myself, it's a lot of people know that. that? And I'm like, well, now I know. Even though I don't even, even now I know. Because the whole thing, I remember at that time I told you when we were in school, there's one old man there. Anytime we are passing and said, Ojuku gach, you know, means Ojuku go rule. Mm. The man go to harass us, harass us, say no, Nazik, Nazik. And as if they talk that thing, some people, kids come no say nah, the thing they provoke them. Okay, so they you know, come, come so we, we begin the yeah, we begin the third thing to the man, but anyway, mm -hmm. I got uh, this set of uh, uh, second, this set of uh, Yorubas uh, and Igbos, mm -hmm. you know. Now, as you said, now any Yoruba person where you meet, where fuck up, you treat deal him fuck that. up, deal with exactly. that. If you meet any Igbo guy where you they do something with, he fucked up, deal with him. Call a name. Every time you do up. this, are they now you do this one? No be Igbos. See what you do. Yoruba. No, now nah, they did something. Hold him. Exactly. You know, you know, just hey, tell me do something. Hold on. Let's begin to kind of like imbibe that. 
in our that's field. Not, but that's not so it be how, before. How, how, you know? Over. Now, so it be before. No matter all this safety. Be before. Now, this time, the thing comes there worst. And you know why? You know why? Because we've been talking about this both will be done. You know the reason why you can't there like that. You know when you de persecute an innocent person, you de, you de provoke anger a lot. Mm -hmm. You know because of people be come out for election, and they begin this ethnic uh, bigotry as you the know, yeah. Uh, you know, and the guy. I know. Yeah, and the guy because of you say other evil politicians, yeah. We feel mark them, let's say 50 percent mm. or 20 percent, or be half like 80 percent, even among 90 the whole Nigerian politicians. You know, that's the fact. It it's not the cent, it's not the cent, but among all these politicians Nigeria have. Mm -hmm. At least it's he sent. I remember when you said this yesterday. Because it is true. sent. Let's you know, let's leave it's all biases true. aside. See, people, people, are, exactly. people are abusing him because he no be cheap enough. Can you even yeah. do that? So, yeah, so the thing met a lot of people. You know, brought anger to, to, uh, towards a lot of people. Let's say Narocha Sokrocha, all those are called Nobody all these here. people naibo. Hmm. You see, that nobody go talk. You see all this wahala. No go talk for you land. They no go turn and few people, they still get followers, few people go they defend them, but it no go be something like generality. Yeah, yeah, but because of this man, yeah, because of this man, Peter B, he no he no be saying one die for politician, he won't be president, he won't die for that one. But the insult where they carry come just because of income out. The thing just provoke everything and the, the bigotry where Abadorias they use. You know, even some people will not be able, it depends on yeah, somebody will not do anything. You know now, see, Baba, you know, see, there are some of these Ronukus, not, not even some, all of the Ronukus, right? Uh, anything from Ore, up yeah. to Benin, to Delta, to all these places, all of them will be able. If you like, you can say you will be, be danger Delta, you will be job. They have been conditioned. Right? Have you seen somebody will be say somebody will be saying no be no be small picking no. Papa of 60, mm. 61 years. I say, hey, sir, mm. he's no Igbo. You are just you just you know you're just saying no nonsense. This person is from uh is from Delta. That's why eh? you know what he talk? Yeah. A old man who yeah, they are Igbo John got this delta, he just it's just a description. <laughs> they are all Igbo. I say, you see intentionally because the tribal uh you know, malign everybody what's malign they will put everybody in the back yeah. is, you know man but anyway this book where is the read that will oh, yeah. carry on or if that is another one because i don't know whether you don't finish that uh why no, we stroke no, we that one we go way back to that one again no oh. which one this one you know no the why we struck oh why we struck well, that's another one. I'm sure yeah. about. That's another very deep, uh, thought-provoking one too, Masi. It is deep, it is deep. But all these deep things we're supposed to do and for here, because really Nigerians, if you go library, they're not gonna put this thing for Nigerian University Library, even though it's there. there. They no go like we make to read the read them, you know. And if you read them, they begin the condition them in a way. If you you where they read the paper, the book, go think say Abi, you be you be judges, Abi, you know they understand the English where they write there. You know what I mean. I so, Baba, carry on, carry on. I just, I, I'm glad to talk to you today. I mean, I, I, you know, get your life today. I know. Yeah. So much. Head on, brother. Head on. Head on. Head on. Yeah, I might allow another person to talk. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. I Keep on, yeah. I will. Nice one. I, so, I have another caller call on the line. On the Even though I only have just about uh, 20 minutes to go. I hope we manage it uh, well enough uh, than just uh, three calls, okay? So here, hello there. Hello, hello, my ego. It hey. is um, Olu from Canada. Sir Olu, how are you this morning? That, that, very good. You're so nice to talk to you again. It's a pleasure, sir. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you. I, I've been following all of your readings, and um, it's been very intriguing, and uh, so many yeah. lessons learned. Right. Um, for me, one of my, there are so many takes from it. Um, 
the, the, for me, one take is the fact that it is no surprise that the United States of America today is the greatest country on earth um, and the most prosperous. They don't have any royal houses. They don't have any royalty. They are a free people. They fought. They knew they were they were they were descendants of the British. They were, it was a British colony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But 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 they, they knew that the only way to break free from uh, from the crown was to um, fight for their independence on their own terms. Mm -hmm. And 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 luckily for them, thankfully, the French they were able to get an ally in the French. Mm 